merchant ships with their cargoes of Arcturian solar crystals felt safe and secure. Little did they suspect that they were pursued by... pirates. And the most feared of all these pirates was the notorious Captain Nathaniel Flint. <laughs> Overtaking its prey. James Pleiades Hawkins. Scooch over. What a Kandarian Zapwing overtaking its prey. Flint and his band of renegades swooped in out of nowhere. And then, gathering up their spoils, vanished without a trace. Ooh. Flint's secret trove was never found, but stories have persisted that it remains hidden somewhere at the farthest reaches of the galaxy, stowed with riches beyond imagination, the loot of a thousand worlds. Treasure planet. Made one spirit soar. What brings you here, curious little one? Are your parents around? What's the matter? Cat got your... <laughs> Unlike anything I've ever encountered, even with my vast experience and superior intellect, it would take me years to unlock its... Hey! <gasps> This is us, the planet Montressor. That's the Magellanic Cloud. Woo! The Coral Galaxy. That's the Cygnus Cross. And that's the Carrion Abyss. Wait, what's this? What's this? It's Treasure Planet. No. That's Treasure Planet. Flint's Trove? The loot of a thousand worlds? Do you know what this means? means that all that treasure is only a boat ride away. Whoever brings it back would hold an eternal place atop the pantheon of explorers. He'd be able to experience... Woo! What just happened? Well, this is... it's just... oh my. Delbert, would you please explain how ridiculous this is? It's totally preposterous, traversing the entire galaxy alone. Now, at last, we hear some sense. That's why I'm going with you. Delbert! 